Some people are probably gonna click off right now because I'm not interviewing girls, or I'm not flexing, or I'm not working out, or I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that, I'm not doing anything physical, I'm just fucking talking. But I wanna talk about something that I feel like a lot of you guys can relate, um, and that's like, during hard times, dog. I just want to say, like, you got to make sure that if you can see a problem that you have in your life, you got to identify it, and you have to go either working around it or work through it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes life is all, not all sunshine and rainbows. You know, I might look and appear like it's fucking all good times and it's fun on video because I'm interviewing girls and I'm doing this, I'm doing that, but sometimes it's very fucking stressful because once, you know, I interview somebody, either they'll bitch at me or they don't want to be in the video or... I have to go to the mall almost every fucking weekend because I don't have a car yet. I'm getting a car soon, but I don't have a car right now. So, you know, it's a little difficult, especially since you have to go to the same fucking mall that you live near every fucking weekend almost. And security stops you a lot of times. You know, security stopped me today. I was filming a video called Fit Bobs or Dad Bobs, what it goes like better, some shit like that. And uh, one of the security guards came up to me and they were like, yo man, you know, I've seen you here for a while, last couple of weeks, whatever, you can't be doing this. Blah, 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 whatever. And um, I know it gets boring. You know, you're seeing the same locations. You're seeing the same environment. And it's fucking boring, dude. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm tired of filming them all. You know, I don't want to film them all every fucking weekend. I want to do it every once in a while. Maybe if it's a rainy day. Maybe it's fucking cloudy as hell, you know, and it's not weather to go to the beach. If there's one thing I could say, and there's one thing that I struggle to think about, is think about the stuff you have already and not the stuff you don't have. Because too many people contemplate and worry about the shit that they don't, that they don't have instead of the shit that they do have. That's always been my problem. I've always been like, I don't have that body. I don't have that girl. I don't have that clown. I don't have that friend. Whatever. Oh, oh, look at that. Yo, point the shit. Put that camera, bro. All right, booty. <laughs> So yeah, you have to be grateful for what you have at the very like present moment instead of worrying about the shit that you don't have. Because if you just worry about the shit that you don't have, then all the things that you know you're fucking planning your future endeavors, you're not even gonna know what they are at that point. And you're not even gonna be thinking of new things that you should be trying to achieve because you're always gonna be thinking about shit that you don't have or that you'll never get. So think about the shit that you do have, be grateful for the shit that you do have now, and then work on the shit that you want later on. I see so many kids my age, bro. I'm 19, bro. And I see so many fucking kids my age, bro. They're always stressed and they're always fucking talking all this shit. My girl's giving me problems. My boyfriend's giving me problems. Oh my God, school's hard. Oh my God, fucking people are whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like, dude, life is life, man. Just be grateful to be on this fucking planet and to experience these things. There's one thing that I actually said that I made up. It could be a thing that's already fucking been said in the past, but I, I thought I made this up in my head, all right? I've never heard this anywhere else. I created this in my mind. So if it's already made out there and I, it seems like I'm plagiarizing, forgive me. Sometimes the things you think were meant to be were just a lesson that you were meant to learn. And I think about that because there's so many scenarios and so many situations where I thought that like, oh my God, this is my fate. This is like, I'm meant to have this or I'm meant to be with this person. And that's not what happened. It was a completely different outcome, but it came with different things around it that made me realize, okay, you know, maybe it wasn't a waste of time. I learned experience from it or from whatever the thing was or a person and I got something out of it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're learning from a failure or learning from something that you know happened to you whether that was a breakup or you got fired from your job whether it was a valid reason or not you learned okay let's you know have a hypothetical scenario here let's say that you're working at a job and you you know your boss is a piece of shit he fired you and it was unjustifiable the way his attitude was and his demeanor and his persona at least you can identify and realize that for the next person in your life or chapter that does the same reoccurring thing that that guy did so it's all a live and learn fucking lesson dude it really is at, the, at that point that's it's all it is and that's so beautiful because like so many people fucking stress out about fuck dude this bitch broke up with me or my boyfriend cheated on me or where the fuck happened i'm like I didn't get the future job or career I wanted, man. It's like the most important thing in life is living and learning from any bit of experience, whether that's a big you know, piece of experience or just a small little fraction of something so fucking stupid. Nah, but I want to do videos like these in the future, man. Maybe like mix it in with like a vlog or me like working out with somebody because like, I don't fucking know. Maybe the video is not going to get that many views at all. Maybe it's going to get two fucking views, three dislikes and one like. But the point is, is I feel it was right to make because I feel like I can relate to a lot of you guys that are going through some fucking shit right now or that's struggling in some por some portion of your life. 
so whatever aspect it is, well, whether it's like your social life or just like your future, for things for your future, like whatever the fuck it is, I feel like this can apply to you. It's okay to have doubt. That's a normal thing. Self-doubt is fucking normal as fuck. You can't walk around that, you can't run around that. But if you actually truly believe in yourself and you have confidence, it's about building your confidence in everything. All right, it's not just talking to girls. Cool, can I get your number? That's one form of confidence, but like having like just life confidence, I can fucking do this, I'm gonna get this ambition. It's another form of confidence that like is a lot harder to get. Some people have it naturally, which is a rare amount of people, but like the living and learning thing I was talking about earlier, you can learn to build that confidence. I've been in that place where I've had nobody to talk to. Not a girlfriend, not a family member, not a fucking friend, nobody. Been in that place, dark times, and it was not fucking easy, man, but I needed that. And that's why I think that everything happens for a reason. Because at that point in time, like, I didn't really love myself. And so, like, I know a lot of people have these problems as well where they don't love themselves or they don't even want to, like, identify the fact that they don't love themselves. They just want to, like, forget that's even a fucking thing or that that matters and just, like, moves on with their life. Focuses on other shit and leaves that and kicks that to the curb. Maybe gets in a relationship, which is the worst thing to do if you don't even love yourself. So the first thing to do is love yourself before you put your life around other people to love them because you can't love them if you don't love yourself so being alone for a certain period of time made me develop those self-love skills if that makes any sense and it helps because then it made me be more self-aware made me care about things that i didn't care about before it made me just more compassionate you know what i'm saying self-love building confidence not just for talking to women but for just your future endeavors and and just to have a better life overall. Having confidence is like the most key thing. And this applies to not just guys, to girls as well. I'm not trying to say like be a piece of shit or act like you're somebody, you know what I'm saying? Or higher than others. Have a good perception of yourself. And you have to be able to be like, you know what? I'm a good looking person. You know, I, you know, just point out the things that you, is good about you. Even the flaws, man. Point every fucking thing out. It doesn't matter. Just point every fucking thing out. Sometimes life fucking sucks. But the fact that it sucks is the fact that it's amazing. Because if you always had a good life and it was always amazing, you'd already know what to expect. You'd be like, you know what, tomorrow's gonna be amazing. Next week, tomorrow's amazing as well. We don't gotta worry, you know what I'm saying? And that gets boring. You need some times in life, whether it's fucked up or not, you need some times in life to be like, I'm punishing you with this, motherfucker. You got hit by a car, bitch. You can't walk for uh, six months. You know what I'm saying? You need shit like that because in order to have good times, you need to have bad times. No, but realistically, bro, like if you had good times all the time, you'd really not have a good time, bro. You'd have a bad time having a good time because it's always a fucking good time. And us humans, we're always used to new shit. We're always used to growth. We're always used to adapting to new things. We like to leech and grab onto new shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's attracted to us. You know what I'm saying? From the just initially just looking at it. So if we have the same shit happening to us and reoccurring every single day, what the fuck do we have to live for? We have to live for that chance of maybe not getting that job. We have to live for the chance of this person cheating on us. We have to live for this chance of hiring this person to be a part of uh, our business. Maybe he's gonna be a great asset to the business. Maybe he will get, you know, get us a million dollars in income this year. Just hiring that fucking guy. Maybe he has a lot more knowledge than we think we do. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. The point is, is that I want, I want you guys to realize is that like, I'm making this video because I don't want you guys to think and suspect that like my life is perfect because it's not perfect. I don't have it all figured out. I'm the last one that has it all fucking figured out, especially at 19, bro. I have a lot of fucking stress on my hands and I have a lot of things that I want to like accomplish and I like get. But I'm not going to sit here and bitch about like not having those things or like, oh my God, I need it now. I need it now. No, I have to identify the problem, go around the problem for the time being or go right fucking through it like it's a girl. Start fucking jamming that bitch, bro. I just care about you guys and I know that some people are going through some hard times and I just want to be able to relate to you guys. It's going to be okay. Make sure that you're doing what you feel is right. Just go, go with your instinct, man. Sometimes you have to go with your heart. Go with your brain as well, but go with your heart because sometimes where your heart goes can follow you to much more bigger things. So like I was saying, self-love, if you don't have it, build it. Confidence, if you don't have it, build it. Identifying certain problems in your life identify them identify them and be okay with them being in your life a lot of people avoid that shit and like to subside it and pretend it's never there or it never happened bring your fucking front face on bro be like i'm here motherfucker i'm here this shit happened all right let's fucking deal with it let's deal with it better sooner than later better sooner than later better safe than sorry all right i'm shaking the fucking cable <laughs> I don't know if I even made any sense. I'm gonna edit this video tonight. I don't know if I made any sense. I hope I did. If I didn't, 
I don't know what to fucking say. Maybe I didn't make any sense. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I haven't said this in a while, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. If you fucking like me. If not, I just hope I gave you a new perspective in some sort of way on life. Whether that's in a good way or a bad way. Because if it was in a bad way, maybe then you'd be like, okay, I don't want to look at life like that. At least you know that now. You know what I'm saying? So either way is good to me. And it should be for you too. I hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video. See you later, alright? <laughs> Are you still recording? <laughs> alright, we're good.